Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video I'm going to show you how to install and add solid state drive into your PC. So today I'm going to be uh, installing the Corsair GT 240 gig hard drive. Um, this comes with a nice little uh, mounting bracket that allows you to fit it uh, nice and neatly into most PC cases. Um, if you're installing a laptop you don't need this. Uh, it just screws in uh, to the back of the hard drive and you're good to go and you should also uh, depend on what case you have uh, install the little things on the side uh, this allows it to slip in nicely into the case uh, these came with my uh, PC so you may need to buy these and you should also have a SATA cable ready to go and make sure you have all the power cables ready in place so we're now looking at the uh, hard drive bay off the case so what you want to do is just slip this into one of the bays um, it's really easy to slip in and I do mess it up a little bit so once you have that in place uh, you're pretty much good to go and make sure everything is neat and you have it in the right way So next step is to get your SATA cable and to find uh, the SATA ports on your motherboard and if you're using a uh, 6 gig gigabyte uh, SATA you want to find the correct port and just uh, plug one of the SATA cables into the port and if you have a right iron cable I recommend using this port uh, for connecting to the solid state drive so just feed that through to the back of the PC and you should also remove the back plate on, the, uh, on your case now. So we're looking at the back of the case now and you see I've got the power cable here for the, uh, the solid state drive so you want to plug this in to the larger port on the drive. Uh, this can be a little tough to put in but if you're firm with it it should go in just fine and just make sure everything is nice and secure. So next you want to put in the SATA cable and connect it to the SSD drive as this next port to the right of the power and that should just click in nice and easily. And at this point you may also want to try and keep all the cables nicely neat and managed. So this is what it should look like once you have the drive installed. Uh, everything is pretty much neat and really up to you if you do this or not. It's always nice to have everything neat and nicely managed. So we're going to go back and look at the desktop now and I will show you how to install this on Windows 7. Okay so now that we have installed the SSD drive in the actual computer uh, you may get a little message down here uh, that's showing uh, that it's installing drivers. Um, so let that do that and the next thing you have to do is the drive actually will not show up uh, in Explorer uh, until you actually format and populate it. Uh, as you see it's showing up now that's because I already have this done but it won't show up for you so what you need to do is go to your start menu, go to control panel and add administrative tools. So when this is up you want to go to computer manage management, you want to go to disk management and let this load dust and you will see a list of all your disks. So you want to find the drive you just installed and this is the F drive so what you want to do is right click and you will click format. Um, it might also show populated so click that and just follow the steps. Um, it's very easy and quick and just follow everything that should be all default anyway which is fine. And once that's done your drive should work fine and as you can see the Corsair um, drive has 216 gig free of 223 so there's some files already on it so you can't use the whole amount of the space um, this format so you can get the most out of it um, you're not losing that much I have a few things on it I need to delete and it's cleared out but see that's the uh, pretty much it for this tutorial on installing the SS3 drive on Windows 7 uh, if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below and stay tuned for the next video thanks